Welcome to another episode of Barefoot Doctor Sailing. And in this Captain's Tips, we have the honor of having Paul Badenhurst coming to advise us on how to set up and hoist an Oxley Levante. We have already produced a short video on how to set up the Oxley into the salt. And here's the link to that video if you need to see that first. So let's get right into the fun of hoisting this Oxley Levante and having all the advantages that it offers. Right, so we're gonna go in the port deck. So this is gonna be the sheet. We're gonna run it outside of the ring. I'm gonna just take this all the way to the back outside of the shrouds. So here the sheet line is being run outside of everything, including the shrouds and the staunchions, and then fed into the block from the outside. It is then fed up to the helm station in exactly the same way as your lines for your spinnaker or code zero. All right, so once again, outside of everything. So now with the guideline, it obviously is taken around the front of the forestay, around the outside of the staunchions and A-frame, and then into the low friction ring from the front. Although these low friction rings are held in with Dyneema soft shackles, we've also added security lines here in case the soft shackles break. This is because we're on an 8,000 mile passage and it's a safety measure. The guy line runs inside everything to that block at the back and is fed through from the outside and then up through the blocks towards the helm station in exactly the same way as your sheets from your spinnaker or code zero again. You literally grab and as soon as it's off you grab one of these lines and you just roll it oh that's good well done make sure the snuffer line is not tangled as you take it out of the bag as well as making sure that it is not twisted around the length of the sock. Attach the halyard to the top of the sock, making sure that there's no twist if it's a two to one pulley, and then hoist the sock with the sail inside, keeping the red strip on the port side and making sure the sail goes up without any twists or turns. Then you need to pump up the snuffering to a tension that is just finger tight and certainly doesn't raise any pressure readings on the gauge. So now attach the tack of the sail which has the red color to the port line which is also red. And we use a bowline with two loops around the metal ring to reduce chafing risk. We estimate the length of the guy line that we're going to need and have it locked off at that point and can adjust that later. You ensure there are no twists in the sail by running your hand along the foot of the sail between the clue and the tack. The green starboard sheet then goes into the green clue of the sail with the same bowline with the double loop in the ring. Take up excess slack in the sheet as well and lock that off. A successful hoist relies absolutely on being able to control the snuffer effectively. The best way to do this is take the snuffer downhaul and put it around the anchor locker cleat with an S-bend. That will take the strain of the filling sail and avoid the risk of burns to your hands. The technique is then to pull down with your right hand with the uphaul until the sail starts to fill and as the pressure of the filling sail starts pulling the snuffer upwards all you have to do is to ease it out with the loop over the anchor cleat. The snuffer hoist should be slow and steady and not having it accelerate upwards at huge speed as this potentially damages both the snuffer and the sail. The sail is then trimmed like any Genoa or Spinnaker with the front edge at the point of almost luffing. The snuffer line should then be tied off loosely so you can use it again when you take the sail down. Just make sure it's free of any obstructions and won't rub or chafe on anything. Now that you've got the Oxley up and sailing, you will need to know how to get it down. So check out our videos regarding that as well as how to manage it in squalls. Okay guys, so if you thought that was useful, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell so this video gets out to as many people as possible. Hope to see you all out barefoot and on the water.